Okay, so you want to create a Twitter account for the class and <clears throat> you won't be using it extensively until week six, but it's a good t uh, time to, to begin the process and then kind of just go down the rabbit hole of exploring the, the broad community of educators that are on Twitter. So uh, I would advise you if you created your professional account or if you created your own account for your Gmail, use that same address to create a Twitter account. You want to keep it professional and, and not... Um, not share um, all of the you know kind of the hanging out and everything else that might come from the personal life just because in the future uh, you know your students might be coming across it as well so um, so I'm in Twitter right now and um, so some things for you to check out are um, the first thing is you can check out actual hashtags um, so let's see EdTech tweets in the last hour boom right off the bat let's see what we've got here Revisiting this infographic about free versions of at Pear Deck and Nearpod. So it's cool. This uh, this gentleman, Jake Miller, is sharing uh, resources on how you can look at the different uh, these different tools that you can use in the classroom. <clears throat> what else do we have here? What do you do for your school after you earn your master's in ed tech? Design and create our first virtual open house. Nice. So uh, Bridget Soto here is showing us how she created her own open house. Um, and this is just recently. Uh, you can see this is uh, Rochelle Dean Poth, who is showing uh, um, Thrive in EDU, so it's a podcast. Uh, let's see, green screen. Some other pieces they do with remote learning. Leadership and social. So the, here they're sharing on personal branding and marketing from sustainable growth. So these are all just resources for you to check out and things for you to look at um, <clears throat> that, that are coming in the realm of education. Now, specifically for your tech quest, you're going to see that over here on line 11 and then on line 16, you have uh, creating a Twitter account and then tweeting using the hashtags. So that's what we're going to do right now and get you some points there. So um, the first thing I want you to know, look at is what this is actually going to look like. So here on my portfolio, I already created uh, description everything that you add here needs to have a description uh, three to five sentences on how you could use it in the classroom uh, you can for this example you can just take directly what I have here you could add more if you like here's a tweet that I made and uh, but I'm going to show you how to put another somebody else's tweet there uh, right now so the person that I want you all to follow and um, for for this activity is at Brianna. So for this one, we're gonna follow uh, Brianna Evans Santiago, and that's at Dr. Evans Santiago, and she's the department chair for um, here for the Department of Teacher Education at CSUB, and it's pretty cool because she's uh, she's the person that's kind of overseeing or she is overseeing everything in teacher education right now, and so she's a good resource to have here because she's constantly sharing. Uh, new um, things that you can use in the classroom, new activities. Uh, so this this one here is pretty cool. This is a uh, a book that uh, she that she published just recently, and it has a lot of interviews with uh, with great educators. You keep going down. Teachers teaching teacher education and ethnic studies in Kern County, a platica between educators. And then you can see here that this is going to be something that's hosted by Dr. Tim uh, Mon Monreal here at CSUB, and then Dr. Evan Santiago is participating. And then she shares great resource, great resources and research and um, different just things coming out of CSUB. Sometimes you'll see a grant, sometimes you'll see a scholarship. So that's somebody that you're going to want to follow. And I'm going to go ahead and put that as following. And then um, if you want to, let's see, we'll, we're going to embed this tweet into our profile right now. So I'm going to click it, embed tweet, copy the code. And let's see here. So I'm going to come up here to mine, embed, paste, and voila. So you can put a couple of tweets. You can put more than one tweet. You can put two tweets. Give her a follow, embed her tweet, and that's all you're going to need. So let me take mine out. You can follow me. You can embed something that I had there if you like. But I'd suggest following the department chair because that's where you're going to be getting a lot of great information. So your, pa your page is going to look like this. Publish. Publish. And then let's view it. 
So creating a Twitter account, Dr. Evan Santiago, boom, you're set. And that's gonna knock you out with uh, 20 points for line 11 and line 16.